So yesterday I took my minivan to the mechanic because the air conditioner had a leak in it and the Freon kept leaking out and it wouldn't last. Like I would get it recharged, but the Freon would only last a couple months before it would leak out again. So the mechanic found the leak and um, then we rescheduled for yesterday. And um, I called back around four o'clock and he said, oh, there, it needs this piece and um, it's not ready yet. And so I was like, okay. And then, um, oh, he said that it'll be ready first thing tomorrow morning. So this morning time went by and I called around four o'clock again. I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he, um, he said that they had to drive to Kansas City to get the, the piece they needed because um, everywhere around here didn't have it. So they went and got the piece and he would call me back around six and try to get my vehicle to me before the weekend. Um, I really love this mechanic. He's, I've been going to him for a couple of years now and um, you have to be really careful with mechanics, especially if you don't know anything about cars because they can really um, take your, steal extra money from you. <laughs> so it's really nice to have a mechanic you can trust. And I could kind of tell that maybe this mechanic had just undergone new management or maybe somebody bought him out. So there was my old mechanic who I really loved and then these new guys who I was dealing with this time. And um, they, well, when I didn't get my car back, like the first night, I was, I was starting to get worried. I was like, oh no, it needs a new part. It's gonna take longer. I was like, how much is it gonna cost me? Because they gave me an estimate, but I was just dealing with something new and, and I didn't know. And then today I didn't hear back from them. And I was like, do you think, I wonder if it'll even be done this weekend. I wonder if it'll be, if it'll go into next week. I just, I just don't, I don't know what I'm dealing with. So I just, I had all these worries because I was dealing with something new and then things didn't work out like I thought they were gonna work out. But um, at six, he called and I went and picked up my minivan and everything was great. I went to the the cashier and she checked me out and the price was very reasonable. Like it was what I expected it to be. And um, the new guy came out and he's like, hey, what do you think? Or no, I hadn't seen it yet, but he was like, how, how are you? And you could just tell that he just kind of wanted to like talk to me and stuff. And I think that he's probably a new owner of this place. And then another mechanic came out to talk to me. And he made a point. He's like, well, my dad drove all the way to Kansas City to get this part for you. So, um, and I was just like, wow, that is so great. I'm so glad he went and got that part for me so I could have my car this weekend. And they were just, they were just two businessmen really excited about just having a client and excited about running a business. And... And anyway, I really like them and I'll, I, I'm going to keep going to them. Um, but I like, I think about business a lot because I'm trying to start a business too. And I was like, well, what happened here? And I think what they messed up on was um, managing ex expectations. And that's something I've messed up on before too. And I've kind of learned from it so that now when I have a project, I'll estimate like double like double the amount of time that I think. So if I think it's gonna take a day, I usually will tell them, oh, it's gonna take two days. But I won't charge them for two days. I'll still charge them for one day as a work. But just, it just kind of protects you in case in case things don't go as you plan. Or like, like we're dealing with the unknown a lot. So just if something happens that you don't have any control over, it gives you that extra protection just to double the estimate. And, um, there's just a lot of little things like this when it comes to business that I've noticed. And I learned something about myself this week at work. I learned that I really like processes. I, I didn't realize I really liked them, but some, I was complaining about something. And sometimes when you complain, 
it's a kind of a, a secret glimpse into what you want um, or what you find valuable. So I was upset because they weren't felt, they weren't doing things the way that we used to do them. Like they changed the process and our old process, we, we kind of fine tuned it and it was really good and it worked really well. And now suddenly they just, somebody just threw that out the window and we're having all these issues. And I was like, well, why don't we just go back to the process? Because it was great. And I think the person I was talking to was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean process? And I was like, what do you mean? But um, I I really like processes. And there was another another issue I ran into at work. And um, I was really confused. Like someone tried to step in and do something. And it wasn't a bad thing. It was just like a normal thing. But um, it wasn't our process. So it was it really confused me and I didn't even know how to respond. Like, because this person was higher up than me, so you you can't really say, no, we can't do it that way. But it wasn't our process. And so it left me really confused in a lot of ways because we didn't really have, it made me realize we don't really have a process for the specific situation. And that might be why we're not handling it very well. And nobody has taken the time to develop a process for it. And if we just did that, it would take out a lot of the stress that we're having and it would, um, it would help us work on it, like change it. Like if there's a, a, even if it's a bad process in place, if it's there, we can, we can, we can adjust it. You know, we're like, oh, this doesn't work. So we just, like, we twist something and then it'll work better. But, um, something I've, I was, I made me realize I'm, working on a process right now. I'm kind of experimenting with affiliate marketing and um, I've never done affiliate marketing before. Um, so I watch my ways. I watch some YouTube videos on how to do it. And then um, I start doing it. And now I'm writing like blog posts about it. And I, I realized that when something's really new to me, like, well, first I jump in and do it bad. And then I develop processes. I'm like, oh, this worked. Oh, this didn't work. And um, I really like the process I'm developing. I'm like, I'm like researching hooks to use for titles and I'm researching different calls to action and I'm figuring out like, well, what call to action is my goal for the whole thing? And, and I'm researching like, well, what's the best way to write a blog post? Like you want to tell stories and you want to um, show expertise and you want to give solutions and and the affiliate link should be one of the solutions. Um, and you wanna, yeah. So there's just a lot of things that I don't wanna have to think about every single time I write a blog post. I just wanna um, get in there and kind of fill in the blanks. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use this hook. Oh, I'm gonna use this call to action. Oh, this is, and then I like, I'll use, I'll use my thinking on the story. Like that's something I can't process probably. I mean, I like, I probably can a little bit, but, um, but that's, I don't know. I think, I think I do so much thinking that if there's an opportunity to conserve thinking, <laughs> I'm gonna jump on it and I'm gonna really like it. Which it, it surprised me because, you know, whenever I fill out like an application or something about, hey, do you like to do things to process or do you like to experiment and do things in new ways? And I always would answer experiment and do things in new ways because I do like to experiment and do things in new ways. But I think, I think it's a bad question. All these applications just have bad questions. I think it's, a, I think people kind of like both. And I don't think there's anything like you're not like weird if you like both, like. Why do you have to be one or another? So, um, so yeah, these guys, these mechanic guys, um, they won my heart. Um, I'm going back to them, but, um, I just see that, uh, yeah, I just see that they don't have a process yet. And something they can add in their process is managing expectations so that they can build client trust and, um, like reduce worries. So yeah. Good night.